Hernia is usually found near the abdominal area and they may also develop in the belly button, upper thigh and around the groin areas. Though hernia is not a life-threatening disease in the beginning stages but it does not get cured on its own. You will have to seek the assistance of the specialists and even go for the surgery to get rid of hernias to overcome the complications. Different types of hernias include inguinal or groin hernia, ventral hernia, femoral hernia, incisional hernia, umbilical hernia, epigastric hernia, hiatal hernia, stoma hernia, strangulated hernia, spigeline hernia, obturator hernia, inguinal or groin hernia. This is one of the common types of hernia and appears in the groin area as the name suggests. This takes place when the intestinal or fatty tissues of your body are pushed from the inguinal canal. This results in groin hernia and requires immediate assistance of a doctor. Groin hernias are easily visible because the size is large and found near the groin or pubic areas. It is really a painful one and therefore one needs to be alert and consult the doctor for the same. Ventral hernia The ventral hernia is the next type of hernia and takes place when the abdominal tissues intestines extend via cavity muscle areas. You can easily differentiate this type of hernia as a bulge which is found in the belly area. Usually ventral hernias can occur on the areas where the abdominal procedure was last performed. On an average 90,000 cases of ventral hernia are cured in the U.S. every year. Femoral hernia As the name indicates, this is the kind of hernia which occurs when the tissues protrude from the femoral vessels. It is clearly visible as a bulge either near the groin area or your thighs. Your femoral kinal consists of the veins, nerves and the femoral arteries. The kinal is just below the groin inguinal ligament. Usually this type of hernia is not very common and accounts to only 5% of the total cases. Incisional hernia This is yet another type of hernia which takes place in the area where recent surgery is performed in the abdomen. This incision might have been made for any reason like appendix or maybe for the cesarean. As the layers of the abdominal wall has to be closed through the stitches, that is why over the time hernia may occur as time passes. On an average, around 12 to 15 percent of the abdominal operations may lead to incisional type of hernia but not always. Umbilical hernia Another type of hernia that you will come across is the umbilical which occurs when your intestine projects via the umbilical opening. These are very common and not at all harmful. Usually you will find this type of hernia in infants but even adults can develop it. In infants you can notice the same when the baby is crying as the belly button tends to come out. This is the first sign that you can notice in infants. In most of the cases, the hernia gets closed when the children reach the age of 1 or 2 but in some cases the time period may differ. The problems increase when the same continues for a long time as the complications increase once the child reaches the age of 4. For such cases, surgery is the last rescue. Epigastric hernia Epigastric is the hernia which occurs when the tissues of the abdominal muscles become weak and tend to protrude. It is also found in infants at the time of birth and may get cured on its own as the abdomen becomes strong. It is much similar to the umbilical hernia but with a little difference that the hernia of the epigastric type occurs between the chest and your belly. Hiatal hernia Hiatal is another type of hernia which takes place when the stomach protrudes upward via diaphragm. Diaphragm in the human body has a hiatus which is nothing but an opening which connects the food to or called as esophagus and the stomach. Your stomach may protrude through hiatus thus causing hiatal hernia. Though it is not a complicated form of hernia but still it is good to get the expert's advice to stay away from other health issues. Stoma hernia Stoma hernia is another extended form of hernia. Infection, overweight or coughing is some of the common reasons that lead to this type of hernia. Though it is a very slow process but it affects the nearby areas thus making them weak as time passes. By weakness we mean that whenever you cough, 
develop strains etc. The area around the abdomen will bulge out thus complicating the problem to a large extent. In such a case it is necessary to consult the expert as they can guide you in a better way. Strangulated hernia Strangulated hernia is one of the most typical and complicated ones. Surgery is the only option for this type of hernia and you cannot prolong it as sooner you get it done the more relief you will get. Your physician will tell you about the process and when it can be done. Spigeline hernia This is one of the rarest kinds of hernia and accounts around the lateral area of the relvis abdomen use muscle. It is located near the middle abdomen area. Obturator hernia This is also another rare form of hernia which is found only in women. When the tissues of the pelvic bone protrude, the obturator hernia takes place. Though there is no visibility of the bulge but still you can face problems in bowel, can result in vomiting as well. As the symptoms are not clearly visible therefore sometimes the diagnosis becomes critical. Other types of hernias based on classification. Acquired versus congenital hernias. Hernia is categorized in different ways like the way in which they protrude. Some of the hernias come with birth while a few may be visible when you grow up. Acquired hernia is the result of overweight, muscle strains and also due to the wear and tear because of the lifestyle. Congenital hernias usually come from birth and found around the weak areas of abdomen. If a child has hernia it will certainly be congenital hernia the only reducible versus non-reducible hernias. The bulge in the hernia is also a way of categorizing them into different ways. Some may be flat or have different shapes too. Reducible hernia usually becomes flat when you either lie down or push yourself. It is not as much dangerous but can be painful sometimes and conditions may get worse if immediate action is not taken. Non-reducible hernia is one wherein the bulge is not flat but it is highly painful. In this case you need to visit the doctor urgently and get the best possible cure. Potentially life-threatening hernias. Another way of categorizing the hernia is on the basis of the severity and the status. You have the incarcerated hernia, also known with the name of obstructed hernia. It occurs because of the trap of tissues. One can also call it the non-reducible hernia which can lead to tissue strangulation. In case of strangulated hernia, the tissues get trapped due to which the blood supply gets cut off. In this case, you need to look for a doctor on an emergent basis and get instant help as the condition may become worse. The surgery can be fruitful as it may repair the blockage and start the blood supply.